You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a goose Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Such a powerful woman. Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's your girl, or oh, I'm Ninja Bajoru, aka Miss Fear Focal, bring back for all entertainment. If the first time you're doing me, was definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. I absolutely love you, and do not forget follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Is it boldly or oh, wami? Now, my ninjas, I know that I've been AMIA, but I am back. Um, and it is very much unfortunate that I, this is the video that I have come to come back uh, with. Unfortunately, Mpo uh, Sebeng has passed away. So I'm sorry if I butchered the surname, but obviously you guys know the Mubenda. Um, he did unfortunately pass away. Um, you know, he was involved in a car crash or a car accident. He was on his way to Clegg's drop and that's how he lost his life. I think that before we can even go anywhere with this video, let's go ahead and give him a moment of silence. Now, for me, I don't even want to lie, guys. Like, I do not enjoy um, reporting on celebrity death. And it does seem like, you know, th a lot of that happens now, especially compared to the time that I started my blogging career. It used to all just be about fun, you know, celebrities doing the silly fights and everything. And I think that, you know, um, six years, almost seven years down the line, these are the stuff that we constantly have to be reporting. It's almost like... Every other month, you know, there has to be a celebrity that is passing and we have to report on that. And it's just not the type of content that I enjoy, honestly, you know. Um, he was still very, very much young. Um, you know, he was only born in 1992 from what the biography says. And I just decided that, you know, for some of you guys that may not know him or, you know, just don't know um, in depth, I did decide that I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys um, his biography. So I did get this on awesometalent.com. And so, you know, I'm going to make sure that, you know, his pictures are going to be coming out here and I'm going to just be um, reading. So it says, Mposi Beng was born in Soweto 1992, December the 1st. He is the eldest in the family of two. Mpo matriculated um, in the year 2011 at West Ridge High School, attaining two distinctions. His high school achievements included being the first to get full colors for drama at 17 years old. He was also vice captain um, of his high school rugby team, partook in soccer and also got full colors for athletics. Mpo was MC of Mr. and Ms. West Ridge during the, the years 2020 and 2011. Mpo was also part of the body council as well as MD of the R um, CL of the school. Mpo's humble media beginnings ascended at the age of 12 when a family friend spotted him in a primary school play and encouraged him to pursue acting. Mpo's first television debut was on Justice for All as well as Zero Tolerance Walls later went to win multiple awards. Mpo then joined manager Lisa Modisane at Legend Management who helped in molding him and assisted with his career. Mpo further got roles on uh, Bay of Plenty, a screenplay as Bongiwe, I'm sorry, Bongani, uh, Kandakulu, a short film, ETV Scandal, and most prominent being Winnie. Um, the story above the life of Winnie Mandela where he plays the role of Tsietsi where he was in his prime. And it was here where he got um, to meet box office actors Jennifer Hudson and Terence Howard. Ring of Lies was Mpo's first major lead role on primetime television. His performance was one for the books, um, as it went as far as earning him a nomination for the 2018 South African Film and Television Awards for Best Male Actor. In a telenovela, Mpo is now a household name in the South African film and television industry. He constant, uh, is constantly looking for a challenge and is ready to swim with the big fish in Hollywood and solidify his place in the acting world for bookings or more than they obviously did go ahead and put 
his contact details which i feel like right now obviously would be a bit um irrelevant i feel like honestly it's such a sad situation to see wherein um you know you're gonna see someone that is so young so talented he has achieved a lot you can see that he's someone that used to put his all in whatever it is that he does if you see even like the clips of different movie roles and services and you know just plays a uh, place that he had he had um, you can actually see that this guy really did put in like 101% and it's very much unfortunate that, you know, his life got cut like that. As of right now, I honestly will go ahead and say that um, people have done a great job in terms of like protecting him, um, you know, and his, um, I would say his final moments maybe i've not seen pictures of like the car itself you know what the car collided with um you know such details i feel like they're really not out there because i really try to search if obviously they're there and i just did not see it then you know obviously that happens that i didn't write, uh, search the right place but i did actually try to search like to get the pictures of the car which i couldn't get um and we still do not know was it the one driving were the people drive someone driving what exactly happened but i do have to say that my deepest deepest condolences to his family his friends his fans um and everyone obviously that got um to be a fan or an opportunity to work with him you know um it really honestly is such a, a a deep one because he was so young and he was so um talented i did see that there was a lot of people that started actually saying that you know guys like life is too short um you know do everything that you want to do achieve whatever it is that you want and live this life like it's your last because at the end of the day you only live once and i could not agree more um i think that you know things like this are those stuff that literally actually um do like it kind of gives a, a wake up call to say you know you think that okay you're gonna live the rest of your life and you know you are only gonna die at old age and that's unfortunately not reality for everyone and i think that every day is a blessing you know um but yeah this really honestly is quite a sad one i am also going to read to you guys like his last instagram post which honestly um is quite um now looking at the fact that he passed away it's like one of those things where you're just like oh my gosh like it's almost like this was a message so basically i'll go ahead and post this picture and he said the art of living lies in the mingling of letting go and holding on the art of living lies in the mingling of letting go and holding on um and honestly i think like if you can interpret it however i i look at it like was he like maybe leaving a message to his loved ones you know to say the art of them actually going to live um it will also depend on them either holding on to his memory or him or letting go you know it really honestly is quite weird and the fact that with that picture like he had his eyes closed is not the first person that i've seen that has actually passed away and the last post on instagram was of them closing their eyes and like a caption that is quite wild you know so basically that is that i mean i think it's just honestly crazy but my deepest condolences and rip um to him uh please do go ahead and say your rips in the comment section from one minute was all right love you guys so much i do have to apologize for the fact that i've not been here like that um but yeah i've sorted myself out and i am definitely back i love you ninja stay blessed and i will definitely see you guys tomorrow morning Bye, ninjas.